Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Find me a find, catch me a catch. Matchmaker, matchmaker, look through your book and make me a perfect match. Matchmaker, matchmaker. Today in the Bible, we read about the first matchmaker. Yes, Abraham, he appoints his, an emissary by the name of Eliezer to go out and find a match for Abraham's son, Isaac. Now, Eliezer, he has certain criteria that he's looking for. For Papa, make him a scholar. For Mama, make him rich as a king. For me, well, I wouldn't holler if he were as handsome as anything. But those weren't Eliezer's criteria, no. Eliezer was looking specifically for the criteria of kindness, generosity and kindness. Now, kindness can take on all sorts of shapes and sizes, sheltering the homeless, assisting the poor, feeding the hungry, visiting the sick and comforting mourners. So he was looking for a young lady who would exemplify generosity and kindness. You know, in psychiatry, sadly, we see people who wind up choosing the wrong person. A person may have in their past some abuse or something very negative. And then on a subconscious level, they'll choose somebody who has exactly those kinds of traits, thinking that they'll be able to help the person, to change them, to correct the past. It doesn't work usually. Ultimately, it's very hard to change other people. We can only change ourselves. So Eliezer goes out, and sure enough, he finds a young lady by the name of Rebecca, who is nothing but kindness. She sees that Eliezer and his camels have gone on a long journey. She proactively offers them water, not only to Eliezer, but to the camels as well. And Eliezer realizes within short order that he's found the right one, the right one for Isaac.